It was canoe sprint's final day at the Lagoa with six gold medals on offer for the first time in the Paralympics. Three classes for men and three classes for women at the picturesque Lagoa Rodrigo de Freitas. The opening race was the women's kayak single KL1. Germany's Edina Müller had won her heat to go straight into the final. But in a tight encounter, it was gold for Great Britain. Former swimmer Jeanette Chippington in lane five, taking the historic gold. Edina Müller had to settle for silver. Poland's Camilla Kubas won bronze. And in the men's single KL1, after losing in the heats, Robert Suba from Hungary had another chance to beat Brit Ian Marsden. In a very close race, it was Poland's Kakub Tokaraz in lane two, in white, who edged it. Suba took silver and Marsden the bronze. Moving on to the women's KL2 final. Britain's Emma Wiggs looked very strong in her heat, winning with ease on day seven, and she didn't disappoint here from lane four. Ukraine's Natalia Lagutenko won silver, Australia's Susan Seipel won bronze. And in the men's KL2, there was gold for Australia. World champion Curtis McGrath was in lane five. He looked so strong in qualifying and won the final here with a personal best time of 42.19. Marcus Svoboda of Austria won silver. Britain's Nick Byton took the bronze medal. To the women's KL3 final, and Britain were looking for their third gold at Lagoa. And Dickens in lane five had won her heat ahead of Italian Veronica Yoko Plavani. But it was Australian Amanda Reynolds in yellow who was closest to matching Dickens. But the Brits held on. Five medals for Team GB on a memorable day at Lagoa. Reynolds with the silver for Australia, France's Cindy Moreau picking up bronze. And we leave you with the men's KL3. Brazilian hopes were with Caio Ribeiro de Cavalho, who was in lane five. But it was Ukrainian Sergei Yemelianov in yellow and blue and Tom Keary in lane four, who occupied the top two in the closing stages. Yemelianov edging it, just fighting off a late challenge. Kiri had to settle for silver. Hibero de Cavallo with bronze for Brazil. Something for the home fans to celebrate as the competition came to a close.